are you? What have you done? You ask as if I were a ruffian, a wanderer with no place in this palace. Know that I am a son to King Sharaman, and brother of Prince Malik, who rules here in our father's name. I did not come here seeking a mythical army. I was sent to study alongside my brother, that someday I might be as great a leader as he is. This territory was once the heart of King Solomon's mighty empire. According to legend, it holds a secret we are sworn to protect. Perhaps that secret is the reason the fortress is much sought after by neighboring kingdoms. Malik was sent here so the army would have a strong commander to discourage attacks. But even Malik's famed strength could not discourage everyone. expect I have to find Malik he'll be planning a way out of this Climbing up here wasn't the best idea. I'm starting to feel that the odds in this battle are not in our favor. Must not hear me with the battle going on. you I'll tell my enemies not to invade it's fortunate you're there we need this gate open the mechanisms are on those towers once you activate them all the gate will rise I assume since you got yourself up there it won't be a problem not at all good and then get down here quickly 
I don't want to tell our father you were injured while in my care. <laughs> Your care? Quickly now! I'll catch up with you. Yes. I'll just take the long way around. It's much faster. Oh, I'm sorry, Malik. Did I keep you waiting? I was tired from traveling all day, so I stopped in the baths to relax for a while. Then I had a nice hot meal, and now I'm ready to help you defend your kingdom. Those gates lead to the treasure vaults. I'll need to find a way down there. He's retreating to the vault. Could he plan to release King Solomon's army? He'd be mad to rely on a mythical army to stop this invasion. I have to warn him. By the time I reached the vaults, I understood why Malik had come here. He had placed his last hope in the army. His only other option was retreat and defeat. The invaders had reached the vault before me. They had met with no resistance and were calmly stealing what treasure they could. I knew then the palace was lost. Malik! At last. You said you would find a way. Maybe you are as skilled a warrior as our father says. It's good to see you. Come with me. 
We shall see what our enemies make of Solomon's army. Malik, this is madness. You have to get out of here. Save yourself and what's left of your people. My people are all but dead. You've seen for yourself the palace has fallen. There's no other way. If I can control this army, we can win this battle easily. And if you can't control it, what then? Would you have me retreat? And leave this power in the hands of my enemies? At least this way we have a chance! This army isn't meant for man to use. You know nothing about the choices a leader must make. If it is in my power to save this kingdom, I will do it! I'm not trying to question your leadership. You don't even know what you're releasing. As many warriors as the grains of desert sand. Don't touch it. It is only sand. That is how I found my way here. But where is here exactly? And who are you? And what do you know of King Solomon's army? We are Razia, Queen of the Marid, Guardian of the Waters, and ally to King Solomon himself. We help to seal that army away. That would have been more than a thousand years ago. You couldn't possibly... I am of the Jinn. We are not so short-lived as humans, or so quick to forget things of vital importance. Do you know what your brother has unleashed? 
That army did not belong to King Solomon. It was sent to destroy him. The army was formed from the desert sand itself. It is a disease. The more sand it touches, the more soldiers it will create. If you do not trap it quickly, it will cover the world. How can I stop it? Do you still have the half of the seal you picked up? Of course. Good. That is a powerful magic. Alone it will help you fight the army. If you reunite the two halves, you will recreate its prison. You must find the other half of the seal and match it to this one. Malik still has it. Then you must find him, and quickly. We will give you the help of the Jinn. Peru Odrata controls Amana Deva. What did you do? If you wish to stop the army, you will need more time. I have given it to you. Time? And a final warning. The army is led by Ratash, one of the Ifrit. He will likely seek out the medallion. If you see him, do not fight him. You cannot hope to win against him. I'll keep that in mind. Go. There is no hope for this kingdom if you do not reunite the seal. Why do I get the feeling this won't be as easy as it sounds? What was that place? This must be what she meant by giving me more time. Are these the powers of the gene? These are the stables. I can get to the fortress through here. Why is it so quiet? I can't even hear the battle anymore. Just once, I'd like to find defenses that could tell me from an enemy. Could fixing all this really be so simple as reuniting the medallion halves? I wonder if Malik waited for me. He probably has a better plan than I do. These defenses do have their uses. I should have seen at least some soldiers by now. Where is everyone? Most of them are headed for the fortress. 
If I can close the gates, that will keep them from overrunning the countryside. From there, I'll have to find a way to re-imprison them all. I know a way. I have the other half of your medallion. If we reunite the pieces, it will seal the army away again. How do you know that? It's complicated, but I think it will work. These creatures are turning all of my men into statues. I think these medallions are protecting us. If you let go of your half, you're in danger. If we're going to reunite the pieces, I want you standing next to me. Meet me at the gates. You must be careful. I've started the palace's defense system. There are traps everywhere. I noticed. This is what my father had in mind when he sent me here. Go visit Malik. He'll teach you to command an army. Teach me how to chase him through the entire palace is more like it. He even shot an arrow at me. Well, one of his soldiers did. In either case, it's a total breach of protocol. And how is it that when I get into these situations, I end up ordered about by women? First Pharaoh, now this. The creature Razia warned me about. What's it doing? Summon by your fellowship! My son, the Suleiman Rab, had a colleague of opposite. She's right. The army is getting more powerful. any statues in the courtyard. Those invaders must have retreated at the first sight of the sand creatures. 
I can't say I blame them. Good, you're here. There's a large group of sand soldiers on the way. I can slow them down, but I need you to close the gates. All right. How does it work? <laughs> How should I know? That's helpful. I think the levers behind you lock the mechanism. If you unlock it, that should let you raise the bridge. They've broken through. Get this working as quickly as you can. I've lured them into traps, crushed them with stones. I must have killed hundreds, yet there are more. I can feel myself getting stronger as they die. Do you need help? No. How are you doing with the gates? I've got the gears unlocked. Good. The army's nearly here. I'll slow them down. Could the army be affecting him some way? He says it's making him stronger. They've broken through! Have you closed the gate? As far as it will go! It'll have to do! Come on! Malik! <laughs> <laughs> keep them in but we seem to be separated again we need to reunite the medallion wait there until I find a way up what's your hurry the army is trapped I can kill them one by one gain their power do you hear yourself this army sucked the life from your people and you won't stop it because it makes you feel strong we can end this now throw me the medallion throw me your half if you care nothing for power, let me reunite the seal. <laughs> As I thought. Mazia was right. We've got to get the medallion house back together. <laughs> Another of those doors. I hope Razia can explain what's going on. Why did you not give him the medallion? He would not have reunited the halves. I'm certain of it. Something is wrong. He talked of leaving his own soldiers to die. As if it meant nothing. He refused to stop the army. He acted as though I were trying to take his kingdom from him. Why is he so obsessed with power? What did this do to him? The army is growing stronger, and your brother killed many enemies. By collecting their energy in the medallion, he must have fallen under the army's sway. The power we added to your half of the seal must have shielded you from it. Why didn't you warn me this might happen? We thought you would be quicker to reunite the medallion. You let your brother convince you to wait until it was too late. If I get the seal away from Malik and reunite the pieces, will he come to his senses? It is possible. In any case, the longer we wait, the stronger the army will be. You must find your brother again. This time, if he will not give you his half willingly, you must take it by force. He's being controlled. I won't harm him. You tell me Malik was a wise leader. If he is beyond helping his people now, 
You must be the one to take his place. I do not want his power, or his kingdom. I will make him see reason. Then you must hurry. We will give you what help we can. Adiea Obro, Bardor. What is this? The power of the Marid. Dominion over water. solid at my command. It seems the djinn can control the elements themselves. Wonder how well attached these are. Probably better not to think about it. Malik! It seems I am not the only one who has gained power. In all my life, I've never seen sorcery like that. The seal is affecting your mind. You must stop this! Why did you ask for my half of the medallion? Do you truly want the army gone? Or were you looking for a way to control its power yourself? If you won't stop this, I will. Give me the medallion. <laughs> no! wasn't a question. Uh, were you anyone else, I would execute you for treason! Leave this place. And don't return. Wait! That could have gone better. What am I going to do? I'll never convince him to give me the medallion now. He probably thinks I'm mad. I have to find a way to get us both out of this. Does he think I'm King Solomon? <laughs> <laughs> Where is he going? Malik. 
It's after his medallion. The throne room's in that direction. I have to get to Malik first. This must be the astrolabe. Malik wrote to me about it. It's supposed to predict the future through the movement of the stars. Somehow, I doubt it predicted the army. Now Malik can kill me for treason and breaking his astrolabe. Maybe I'll just pretend it wasn't me. No, I didn't touch it. It must have been the Sand Army. Somehow, I doubt this thing was intended as a mode of transportation. drive the machinery. the throne room. Malik must be nearby. Got to find Malik.
here alive after that! The seal is gone, and something's happened to Malik. He killed that Ifrit and- Your brother did not kill Ratash. Ratash has killed your brother. What? No, that's not what happened. It is not what you saw, but it is what happened. A Jin will not be killed by any ordinary sword. This is why I warned you not to fight Ratash. His power has simply found another body. Your brother. Before long, Ratash will control him. No, that cannot be true. It is the truth. You don't know Malik. He's stronger than you realize. He will fight that thing, and he will win. Even if that is true, your brother must still die. What? Why? If you're going to say this is some kind of punishment... Of course not. Think. Your brother's half of the seal is destroyed. How will you stop the army now? I'll make another seal. Tell me how. Those spells have been lost. The sorcerers who made it are long dead. There is only one way to stop what you have unleashed. You must go to Rekem, the city of the Jinn. There you will find a sword. With it, you will kill Ratash. When his power is broken, the army's power will be broken as well. Kill Ratash? You mean kill Malik? I won't do that. Do you care for this land? Malik's people, your people, your own life? If you do not stop the army, it will all be gone. I am not heartless. I understand that it will be difficult. But it must be done. There has to be another way. You must take charge in your brother's place. You must save those who can still be saved. This is what it is to be a leader. 
قدرت جن به تو صورت بالد را می دهد. The entrance to Rickham is near King Solomon's tomb. Look for the flame that marks the tower. You will find the stairs to the city underneath. I will find a way to save Malik, despite what she says. to find Malik. I have to warn him about Rattash. <laughs> These gardens are one of the wonders of Persia. A wilderness in the midst of a desert kingdom. They're even more beautiful than I remember. Probably just a coincidence. Seen that attack before. I hope he can hold out against that thing. Help him!
fight it! Don't let it control you! The palace guards are still alive. Not human. Razia was right. I couldn't save him. This must be the entrance to the Jin City. I'm really starting to think the Jin didn't want visitors. Is this the entrance to the Jin City? What do I do? What is that? might have warned me about that. I suppose if I were a thousand years old, I'd get things too. Like giant collapsing staircases that could kill people.
You could have warned me the stairs were dangerous. What happened? They collapsed under my feet. I am sorry. The city has been abandoned for many centuries. I have been here so long, I did not think of it. Is there anything else you haven't thought of? Like perhaps a way for me to save my brother? You tried to stop him, didn't you? Despite what I said. Of course I did. Then you know I told you the truth. Your brother is gone. I know he is not himself. But that he cannot be saved? How can I trust what you say? I know nothing about you. I know very little about you either, son of Sharaman, brother of Malik. And yet I must trust you to end what your brother has started. Why do you care? You're one of the Jinn. Your kind are all but immortal. Ratash was once one of my own people. If we do not succeed here, he will destroy everything I have ever cared about, and the things I have sworn to protect, including this kingdom. Why do you need me? Why not do it yourself? I have my part to play. And what is that? Do you truly not trust me? Or are you simply angry because you know what must be done, and are afraid to face it? When I was younger, my father was often away at war. It was Malik who first taught me to hold a sword. How can I fight him? It is not your brother that you fight. It is Ratash. I know that. It doesn't make things any easier. You are right. Ratash and his army must be stopped. Tell me what I need to do. The city is in ruins. You will not pass through it on your own. Khotorota Hodra, Beto Mida. I have given you my memories of this place. They will help you see the city as it once was. Go on. I will meet you at the temple. city of Rakem. Once it was home of the Marid, the greatest of the tribes of the Jinn. You will be able to see some of its glory. Beyond this wall is the temple. I will meet you there. of the four tribes of the Jinn. Before the army came, this was one of our greatest cities. What happened here? When King Solomon formed his empire, he allied with the four tribes of Jinn. We worked together to create cities, the likes of which had never been seen. My people, the Marid, moved rivers, created aqueducts. We kept the waters flowing bringing life to the desert. But some of us hated that human and jinn should work together. And the first among them was Ratash. He resented King Solomon and vowed to destroy his empire. Ratash combined his powers with the desert sand and wind to create an army. It was an abomination, a desecration of all that our powers had ever created. When the army attacked, King Solomon and the four tribes banded together to stop it. It was a massacre. The army grew even as we fought it. It was as endless as the sand itself. Finally, a way was found to imprison it within the seal, but not before many died. Human and Jinn. Very few of my people survived the battle. Of those who remained, most left the city, vowing to stay far away from the army, even though it was sealed away. And now, I am the only one left. 
Why do you stay here? Rakem stands in the reservoir that feeds the city above us. I swore to King Solomon that I would guard the water. Without it, the kingdom above would die. I did not realize I had been here so long. I believe I told you time passes differently for the Jinn. It was not until I felt the army's release that I realized so much had been lost. Razia! Razia! army's power is interfering with my own. This is not something I have seen before. We should move on before something worse happens. I spent many hours here learning statecraft. That was so long ago. <laughs> Most of my days in the throne room, I was trying to sneak away. Malik was the responsible one. How will I explain to our father what happened here? You will tell the truth. Ratash killed your brother and tried to destroy this kingdom. And you saved it. We should keep moving. Yes. There is a passageway under this. It was once meant as an escape route. You'll need to get through. Be careful. The way is guarded against intruders. I'm not sure if the traps are still working. With my luck, they will be. If you can still hear me, that door leads to a sanctuary. I will open it for you, but you must get rid of these things. This is the origin of the city's water source. Without it, this place would have become a desert long ago. It is this that I have stayed to guard. How do they dare enter here? The sword you seek is behind that statue. When the statue faces the vault, it will open. Is that King Solomon? Yes. It is odd to think you knew a man I have heard of only in legend. I cannot imagine your legends do him justice. 
He was a wise ruler and a kind man. You asked me why I stayed here. Even had I wanted to leave, I could not abandon the city he called home. Even now, it is difficult to think of it. But you're not leaving. Razia? That's usually not a good sign. Any part of Malik is still alive. I hope he will forgive me for this. Are you prepared? I do not think we should delay much longer. I'm ready. My own sword barely caught that Ratashi's attention. How will this one stop him, or the army? This sword was built for this purpose. To destroy what one Jin has created requires the magic of another. I don't understand. Give me the sword. I will show you. Kodratajin Azanatobad. Razia! I am all right. What did you do? I told you I had a part in this. With my power, you will be able to attack Ratosh. What will happen to you when he is gone? I do not know. We will see when you defeat him. Now we must go. This is for nothing if you cannot destroy the army. I suppose we must find Malik. I do not think that will be difficult. Even now, I can feel the strength of the army. Then we'd better hurry. <laughs> I did not expect it would go so easily. You know, it's rather unsettling to have one sword comment on a battle. It is also rather unsettling to be the sword in a battle. Good point. This is the King's Tower. It will lead you back to the palace. I don't suppose you have something as simple as a staircase? Oh, of course. But you didn't seem to like the last staircase I sent you to. The tower marks the border of my kingdom. We are in your palace now. Are you all right? Of course. If it is in my power, I will make sure you return home. Thank you. They're everywhere. As many warriors as the grains of desert sand. It is exactly what your brother said. Except he was hoping it would fight for him.
The palace looks so different from when I was last here. I do not even recognize these rooms. I'm glad you're enjoying the view. It's taking my mind off being used to slice up monstrosities. Well, that's good. You'll have to get to higher ground if you want to find Ratash. Otherwise, you'll just keep fighting the army to no purpose. That tower, is it tall enough? Let's hope so. I think this is the tower we saw. The top will still be above the storm. I do not know what will happen when we get outside, but I think we are expected. You will make this easier on yourself if you think of him as Ratash. It is all that is left now. I'll try to remember that. Is that Ratash? What happened to him? The storm is causing him to gain power! Noticed us. If we're lucky, he did not. This is looking worse and worse. I've never seen a storm like this. I have. Once. Let's hope we can make it the last of its kind. Well, I wasn't expecting Ratash to make this easy on us. Do you see the seal on his chest? That is where you must aim. Couldn't you pick somewhere a little easier to get to?
could feel it taking over my body, but I could not stop it. I was a prisoner. Malik, I'm sorry, I didn't... I am the one who should be sorry. I did not listen to you, and you were right. You saved us. <coughs> I'll get help. No, it's too late for me. But tell our father, I said, you will be as mighty a leader as King Solomon himself. Malik! The sands disappeared as if the storm had never happened, though it left its mark in the crumbling stone of the palace walls. I found the sword where it had fallen from Ratasha's body. The metal was cold in my hands. I spoke Razia's name, but there was no answer. I returned the sword to the underground city. It seemed right that Razia should be left in the city she called home. And I could not bear to keep the sword with me. With the city secure in the hands of Malik's advisors, I begin the most difficult task of all. I must return to Babylon to tell our father what has happened.